Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we'll end this chapter with verse 58. As the Apostle Paul comes to the end of the body of his letter to the church at Corinth, he readdresses those to whom he wrote this letter, being my beloved brethren, as he, he states in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58a, as quoted from the New King James Version. But as we reflect back to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, and see that Paul has addressed this letter to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all who in every place call on the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. He then instructs them in Christ to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, as he finishes 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, uh, B through E. Therefore, as he begins verse 58, he declares, this is all possible because of what we've learned in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, as quoted from Isaiah chapter 25, verse 8, death is swallowed up in victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the promise of salvation in and through the work of Jesus on the cross and in his resurrection from the dead. This is a command to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, as we have learned today in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. This letter is addressed to and is guidance for those who have put their faith in Jesus. As a young church full of young or new Christians in a time where Christianity was still yet new, it was uncertain of what being a Christian meant and how one should live and conduct their lives as a follower of Jesus. This is not much different from what we experience today as a new Christian in need of guidance for our lives in Christ. It is true that when we put our sincere, obedient faith in Jesus, his Holy Spirit comes to live within us and we become a changed person. We no longer desire the ways of this world in our lives, but we desire to rid ourselves of them and put on the new life that God has for us in Christ. It is not an easy road, but in comparison, the road of this world is much worse. I encourage you to put your faith in Jesus today and Profess him your Lord and Savior and begin your new life in Christ Jesus, a life of forgiveness and joy. If you'd like to make Jesus your Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord, I believe that you are almighty God and that you have a plan for my life that is greater than anything I could ever imagine. I believe that you sent your one and only son Jesus to die for my sins. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead as his sinless life was the overpowering defeat of sin. I ask your forgiveness of my sins. I ask you to come into my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit to be my guide forever. I receive you into my life, Lord, and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins so that I may be set free from them. Thank you, Lord Jesus my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you'd like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your family and friends.